<clears throat> so I bought this derail oil filter relocation kit I don't know where I got it from Jags or Summit I don't remember um, so I'm doing it on a big block Chevy and and uh, here's the block fixture it threads into the oil filter adapter plate there and <clears throat> it's a universal kit so it'll go on different uh, variations makes and models of motors and it includes this plate right so so on a block that has a, a, a little larger surface area where the oil filter goes you got to use this plate and uh, you gotta put this oil, this uh, o-ring here in this in this little trough there and then and then this goes over that right and then the whole thing goes up there well I put it up and put it all together and uh, the freaking thing was leaking and I could tell the leak was up high so I knew it was out of this o-ring and um, before I put this thing together I noticed if you can kind of see in that groove there's like I don't know it looks like a bunch of casting flash or something it's it's a bit rough down in there uh, some areas worse than others and I was a little scared about it. I didn't want to fill that thing with RTV and then and then squish this O-ring in if I didn't have to. So I, I put it up there without any sealant and it starts leaking and I took a little just a little bit of fine sandpaper and I because I noticed kind of it was humped up out at this edge, this outer edge, and I thought, well maybe maybe this freaking lump of freaking aluminum is actually touching the block before this O-ring gets squeezed. And seals up and uh, so I, I put it on this piece of sandpaper and I you know gently knock that down so I made a pretty flat plane and I started looking down in this groove and I noticed this freaking let me get a little closer here pretty sure I found where it was leaking there's no excuse for this crap there's like a mill mark down right here right there to there see that and you can tell it's the mill they use to cut this little groove for the o-ring you can see the you can see the cut marks and that son of, that son of a gun is a lot deeper there freaking piece of quality control crap there freaking junk man so anyway eh. I'll probably end up trying to RTV just a real fine bead in there and then and setting this o-ring in here you know real nice and, and see if that seals up man I just wanted to make this video because I think that's bullcrap <laughs>